Oh boy, look where I found myself. I found myself to probably one of the top tourist attractions in all of Perth. That's right, Perth, as in Perth, Australia. And this is the Perth Mint. And if you look at tourist destinations, or top attractions rather, for, for Perth, this is the spot that uh, oftentimes is right up at the top of the list. It is a, uh, well, it's quite an icon of a, uh, it is quite an icon of a uh, of an establishment or attraction museum whatever you want to call it well a mint you know when people say boy that that must be that must have cost you a mint you know <laughs> this is probably what this is probably what they're talking about right here you know that must have cost you a mint and uh i can't say i can't say that in all my travels that i've ever actually been to a mint before look at the gate to come in now you would think they would have big time security here oh look at the security Hello. guard oh wow welcome to the mint <laughs> welcome to the mint so you're you're security here huh uh one off you're yes. no you're, Glorified. you're you're like the ambassador so <laughs> it's a nice what a beautiful Thank place you. this is and and you were telling me i could get can i get like a gold coin here yeah you can get gold coins I gold could. bars jewelry really gifts. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. I'm yeah. going to, uh, and I can get one of those today? Yeah, of course. If I want? Definitely. All right, wonderful. I'm going to go check it out. Right. Well, thank you, folks. Look at this. Look at this place. What a building. So there's quite a history behind this, and I could have researched a lot of it for you, but uh, the internet being what it is, you can just as easily go online and read a little bit about the, uh, about the, the Perth Mint. This statue right here, it's the strike by Greg James. The sculpture depicts the gold strike near Coolgardie by prospectors William Ford and Arthur Bailey in 1892, which unleashed the gold rushes that secured the future of the struggling colony of Western Australia, established, uh, established one of the state's most successful and enduring industries and led to the foundation of the Perth Mint in 1899. Look at that. So, you know, you would think there's actually coins. You see folks come and maybe it's good luck. You know, they'll put, uh, they'll put coins in his, uh, in the little, little pan there. But uh, look at this. And he actually has a, uh, he actually struck gold if you look closely. Look at this. You see? He's actually, he's actually struck gold there. He's got a big gold, uh, he's got a big gold nugget. And, you know, I, being an American growing up in, uh, in the United States, you hear all about the, you know, the gold rush of the 1800s in America. And you just never know that, uh, that there is something similar over here in, uh, in the land down under in, in Australia. But uh, what a nice place. I don't know that they're giving, giving tours uh, today. It, maybe the gift shop is, uh, is all that's open. But... Um, and maybe a few exhibits inside but uh i will see you know it'd be interesting to get myself a uh it'd be interesting to get myself a gold a gold coin there's the gold corp house at the perth mint what uh whatever that may be but uh oh, just fascinating really really what a wonderful what a wonderful opportunity it's always a nice opportunity when you have a chance to visit some place like uh like this look at this boy just gold everywhere you look can you imagine can you imagine finding gold nuggets that size look at, look at that wow beautiful really really nice here's a nice view of the uh gatehouse from the from the rear so i'm gonna go and We'll go in and uh, go in and check out. We'll check out this. Look at the uh, look at the front of this building. Isn't that something? All right, so let's go check out. We'll go check out the inside. Okay, well in we go, boy, folks. As luck would have it, I met the most wonderful gentleman that actually works here. And even though they're not giving tours. They, uh, they've arranged for me to just walk through what, 
would be the tour if, if there was a tour going on. So I just need to be a little bit respectful and conscientious of some considerations. But I'm going to try to share as much of this as I can with you. It is really a beautiful, beautiful building. I've already been through, I've already been through a good portion of it. And, you know, people come here and they actually sell, they'll sell their, their gold, you know. So right now as I'm walking in, you see there's, there's people queued up to, to go through and, and sell, sell their gold. They come in here and they might be selling jewelry or what have you. But uh, I'm going to just take you through some of the areas and I'm going to show you the, so I'm going to start with what's the, uh, the gift shop. So they have a, they have just a really, really nice gift shop in here and there's no shortage of things that you can buy oh my goodness look at some of this stuff so I'll do my best I'll do, I'll do my best to share as much of this as as I can with you but look at some of this look at you can get a gold perfume that's it what gold perfume roller ball Look at all of this stuff that you can get. Fragrance flowers, ivory white. Oh boy. You know, I know that my, my beautiful Silvana is gonna be watching this wondering, you know, what am I gonna, what am I bringing home for her? Oh, look at these teacups you can get. These are mum, mum mugs, you can see. Look at that. Very nice. Ooh, what a beautiful place. Now talk about the ultimate piggy bank. Look at this piggy bank back here that you can get. Isn't that? Wow. Really something else. There's another. Oh, they got some of the most adorable stuff here. Look at this. Barney, Barney Gumnut, whoever. Barney, he looks like a little parakeet there. Barney gum, gum nut. Who is this over here? Look at, look at this character. Wow. I know you're you, you're wanting to see the, you're wanting to see the gold. Look at that. Look at some of these hats. You can get yourself a nice, nice hat. Now it looks like they have a swan, for their. Uh, Maybe a swan is their, is their logo. Here's some other jewelry that you can get. And there's all types of nice things. Let's go around. I'm going to take you around over to the... Well, maybe I, let me see if I can't show you some of this in the exhibit here. Look at, look at some of this stuff here. Maybe I can just put the camera right up on the, on the glass there. got some nice stuff now if this place was open for normal normal tours this would be the cafe you come in and in my case I'd order myself up a long black you know or maybe maybe I'd splurge and get myself a flat white you know I don't know but they've got a wonderful cafe here now when you walk back out so you walk out into the courtyard they have a display they have a display out here of a, uh, well, a camp, a miner's camp, that I'll share with you, if I'm able to. Let's see. Let's I'll walk down here. Look at this. Look at that. This would be a, uh, this would be a miner's camp. You know. Boy, what a nice place and this is right in the right in the city right in the city of Perth here's a an old looks like a looks like a lean-to right here oh I would imagine it was quite uh, quite hot back in the day so I'm gonna take you up uh, take you up over here and we'll go into the uh, some of the actual exhibits. 
1899, the Perth Mint was opened with much fanfare on the 20th of June as one of the only six branches of the Royal Mint, London. The building's design was by George Temple Poole, the chief government architect of the time, and as a blend of imperial power and colonial pride, the imposing Victorian grandeur of the building spoke of its role as a treasure house and a holder of the wealth of the British Empire. Here's a view of the mine right there. All right. So they were kind enough. They were they were kind enough to let me come in and film this. Yeah, and that's just uh, representative of, of the Aussies in general. Really, really good, good folk. Up here they've got some uh, different information. Going for gold and Olympic medal is the dream of most athletes and was the honor that the Perth Mint was commissioned and meant the gold victory medals for the games of the, what would that be, the 27th Olympiad staged in Sydney in 2000. So I can come over here and actually share with you some of these gold gold medals here. Perhaps look at look at these. If I can maybe get it without the glare of the glass, so it's kind of a little bit difficult, but you can you get an idea. There's the Sydney Olympic Games. There's the gold, the silver, and the and the bronze right there, and then you have the the Paralympic Games as well. They did the the medals for the Paralympic Games. And down here they have different commemorative uh, coins that you can that you can get or medallions I think is, is what they call them. Now over here is the uh, look at this they're actually in full operation here making I guess making coins and, and doing all that stuff. This is a full functioning uh, a full functioning mint. And over here you can come you come over here you can actually get yourself a uh you can you can go home with a with an engraved medallion you see they've got different different designs that you can choose from and they uh they will actually engrave uh actually engrave some of these on here look at that you can come and get a uh get something engraved and they'll do it right here as you as you wait Here's another view inside the room here. I'm not quite sure. This this woman over here, she's making, uh, she's putting a coin down in there, and look at just kind of, you can even see that. The hobby of kings. And there's some information there. There's an interesting display. Look at the craft of the coin. Planchet strips, gold and silver strips from which the planchets or coin blanks have been punched out. All offcuts, including coins which don't meet the mint's extremely high standards, are remelted to be reused. Not a gram of precious metal is wasted at the mint. Look at that. Um, the craft of the coin. And here is a, uh, this machine right here, you can actually take home, you can take home a, uh, a, 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 a coin or a, uh, a, a medallion, um, I'll, well, I'll just show you, watch this. So you come around on this and you, you put in a, uh, you put in a $2, you put in a $2 coin right here and then it'll probably come out right down right down there let's see if it works there we go now well, sliding it in there it is now it's gonna slide it out here it comes <laughs> and there you have it look at that you see so I've got a I've got a souvenir souvenir to take home with me you see right right there you can you see that Wonderful. Boy, that'll be a nice piece to put on the put on my desk back home. There's some lun lunar bullion coins. Good luck and prosperity. Year of the snake. 
These coins celebrate the Chinese year of the snake, the sixth animal in the 12 year cycle of the Chinese zodiac. You can see some of these. Folks, this really is a, uh, a nice thing. If you're, if you're visiting Perth, if you have the good fortune to visit Perth, you really gotta make a point to come and check this place out. It really is cool. And I haven't even, I haven't even shown you the really cool stuff yet. Get this, the Royal Proclamation. Oh, fantastic. People, people of the mint, hallmarks of excellence. Beginnings of Perth. I would imagine you probably press this, perhaps, and it might. The discovery of payable quantities of gold in the eastern gold fields led the first Premier of Western Australia, Sir John Forrest, to lobby the British government for so the establishment of a mint in Perth. A mint would raise much needed revenue for the colony through processing gold. I'm not going to play the whole thing, school. but a lot of that you can find, uh, just find online. But very nice. Let's come back here. Now this, this room, this is where all the cool stuff is. Look at this. You've heard of show me the money. Well, how about show me the nugget? This is, uh, this is King Henry right here. Look at that. This is relatively new to, uh, to the mint. This, uh, well, that's it. Historically, worldwide, large gold nuggets and gold masses have been melted down for their gold value. The short-term bonanza mentality in both private and government sectors has deprived future generations of significant gold specimens. Purse Mint is standing above the majority with the preservation of the 2018 King Henry, a 93 kilogram golden quartz specimen with an estimated 1,400 ounces of gold from the Beta Hunt mine owned by Corora Resources in Western Australia's Eastern Gold Fields. Look at that. King Henry is a mass of gold and quartz discovered on Father's Day, September 2nd, 2018 by Henry Dole an air leg miner at the Beta Mine. Look at that, isn't that something? Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of rock. Oh, goodness. And then just across here, we have the, the, Karatha, the Karatha Queen, the largest Australian native silver specimen in existence. Look at that. It was found in 2000 has a weight of 145 kilograms, 85 by 38 by 47 centimeters. And it was found in Muni Muni, 40 kilometers south of Karatha in Western Australia. Isn't that something? Boy, folks, Australia is just a magical place. It really is. It is just one, uh, it's just one thing. This is this was pointed out to me. I don't know how well you can see this, but the gentleman that was showing me around a little bit before being able to film was telling me that's how much gold can come out of a ton of earth right there. You see that? A ton of earth. That that's gold dust. And this uh, this here is going to show you different different types of gold. I don't know how well you can actually see that. But, Look at that. Wow. What else do we have here? Different, different specimens. Look at this. This is the golden stonefish right here. If I can give you a look at that. This nugget was discovered by three mates while on a prospect. Mates is translated into into American. Those are friends. <laughs> this nugget was discovered by three mates while on a prospect, prospecting trip in 2004. Not that long ago, found with a metal detector, the nugget was buried 50 centimeters underground in what was thought to be an ancient creek bed. Initially, they were going to call the nugget beer money, but settled on the golden stonefish because of its resemblance to the less than attractive fish, which is native to Australian waters. I don't know how well you can see that with the glare, but boy, maybe if I come down a little bit, there's your view. 
Look at that. Can you imagine? That's real gold. <laughs> That's real gold. Wow. Here's some more, more gold. Golden quartz. This is the golden beauty right here. As with many large nuggets of gold brought into the Perthman for sale, the prospectors who discover them are reluctant to divulge where they were found. Naturally, not, naturally enough, they fear that word would get out and other prospectors would start fossicking on their patch. So while we don't know much about the story behind this nugget, it does tell us that even well after over 100 years of prospecting and mining in and around the eastern gold fields of Western Australia, there are still significant gold discoveries to be made by amateur prospectors. Wow. That is something. Over here, there's some other nuggets that you can see. And look at this. This is the Newmont Normandy nugget. Boy, the glare from the light. I'm trying to position the camera as best I can to give you a nice view so you can appreciate it as much as I am. And that's something. This nugget, the second largest still in existence, was discovered in 1995 in a dry creek bed near Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. The, estimate, the nugget is estimated to be 40 million years old. 40 million years old. That's almost as old as Skip Smith in the villages in Florida. And 80 to 90 percent high purity gold. Look at that. You know, I never thought I'd see something almost as old as Skip Smith. But there you have it. It took me all the way to go to the Perth Mint in Western Australia to, to find it. But look at and over here, look at this bicycle. Look at that bicycle. Uh, and look at the saddle. The saddle seen better days. Look at that. And on the back, there's a trap. Looks like a trap of sorts. You see. There's a picture of a gentleman, maybe on this very same bicycle. Wow. That's something. In 1862, the Swan River Colony government offered 5,000 pounds to anyone finding payable gold within 150 miles of Perth. Although this reward was never claimed, Western Australia was destined to become one of the richest gold producing areas in the world. Here's a interesting cutaway. Some guys working in a mine. Now, if I were fortunate enough to be here on a on a normal day, well, wait a moment. I got to show this to you. Look at this. This here. Now, this isn't the real thing. This isn't the real deal. Or else I try to put it in my pocket and walk out. But uh, Look at this. This is the, I believe this is the largest nugget ever found. Isn't that something? Wow. Look at that. Can you imagine that is an actual replica of a gold nugget? And look at this one. Look at that. Can you imagine finding something like that when you're out on a bushwalk? Probably why Australians like to walk in the bush so much is they might find they might find one one of these nuggets laying around. And then uh, this right here, unfortunately, this would have been the ultimate thing to share with you. This, if you look at pictures of the mint online, you'll see a massive gold coin that's usually on display, and all types of people will come and and take pictures of it. This is the Australian kangaroo one ton gold coin. And there's actually a, a video playing here. I don't know how well I can share it with you, but let's see. Look at that. 
Wow. Can you imagine? Look at how big that is. So this, the, I'm actually filming over, the, there's, this is a vault. You see, I mean, you know, you know, if you were in Holland, that would, you'd be, th you'd be thinking they were making a big thing of cheese, you know, <laughs> but no, that's gold. Look at that. That's what's underneath this, uh, this glass right here in a vault. Designed by Dr. Stuart Devlin, the Perth Mint 2012, 99.99% .99 gold, pure gold. 80 centimeters in diameter, 12 centimeters thick. The face value is 1 million, or I'm sorry, yeah, 1 million is, is the face value, but I think the actual value of the, of the coin itself in gold is something like 80, 80 million or something like that. But uh, isn't that something? So this would actually be the, this would be the vault. You see, somewhere down there is an 80 million, 80 million dollar gold coin down there oh very nice all right so i'll show the uh i think uh, the, the last thing i'll share with you is the uh the actual where they where they i guess forge forge the uh forge the gold just come around right over here very nicely presented what a nicely presented uh display here's some more uh look at this you can see this this is a uh it looks like this would have been in scales see look at that wow and down here you have uh, weights. You see they've got the, the different weights there. Very nice. Now look over here. This is the gold pour. Today most of Australia's gold is refined at the Perth Mint's modern refinery facility located near the Perth airport. But from 1899 to 1990 the melting house was the center of the smelting, refining, and casting of gold into ingots for export to the Royal Mint in London and for the production of gold salt runs. Look at this. I don't know how well you can see this, but... thing to share with you and and that is this machine here this is a uh, this is a scale that'll tell you what you're worth in gold and uh, I'm gonna do it I, I I was afraid that it would actually tell me what my weight was and I don't necessarily not want to know what my weight was but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm weight what I'm worth in my uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm worth in gold, okay? So I know as soon as I do this, uh, all the women out there are gonna be going crazy. They're gonna say he's worth that much money in gold. Well, no way, you know. But we we will see. All right, let's go. Maybe some of the men out there might also be saying the same thing. He's worth that much in gold, you know. But right. so you step on this thing. Please stand still for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, look at this. It's calculating me in gold. I look pretty good in gold. Isn't that nice? I look pretty good in gold. Now I'm gonna push this little button over here and it'll give me my value in gold. I am worth Ready for this? Nine million. Now we're at nine million, 14,250. I'm worth a lot. 
I'm worth a lot of money in gold. Oh boy, isn't that something? All right, anyway, so folks, listen, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed your tour here to the uh, to the Perth Mint. It really is a special place. If you're in Perth, make it a point. You know, go go visit Elizabeth Key, and after you visit Elizabeth Key, you know, go and uh, maybe have a bite to eat, and then come and check out the uh, check out the Perth Mint. All right, have a uh, have a good day, mates. Take good care.